Yeah, I think from a Republican point of view, if you don't if you don't see this as government overreach at its worst, if you don't see this as payback politics at its worst, then you shouldn't be leading our party. I mean, this is just the big. The hope of any two political candidates is to distinguish themselves in a civil way. You can have a very civil discussion about how the NLRB approach with Obama nominee appointees is going to destroy job creation in this country. This is much bigger than South Carolina. Now, I'm the senator from South Carolina. I haven't hidden my, the unions have filed a complaint against me. Good. I mean, you know, it's frivolous. It's not going to work. But they see me as somebody advocating that the remedy being requested in the theory of the case is just absurd. And I'm glad that they have people on the other side see me that way because I want them to. I want people at home to see me as a reasonable senator who will not only work with the other side on occasions, but will stand up for our state. And uh, at the end of the day, the Republican primary field has a great opportunity to walk the American people through what would happen to our economy if the remedy requested were granted. And they should tell the American people, look that camera in the eye and say, if I'm the President of the United States, we will restructure this board. Has anyone done that yet in the field? Not that I know of. They, they come to South Carolina and say we're for Boeing. This is, you know, that's just parochial politics. This is not a parochial issue. I'm the senator from South Carolina. Certainly has more impact on me than, than, than anybody other than Senator Mint. But I'm trying to elevate this issue to a real healthy discussion about how does America survive in the 21st century? What is the proper role of government? I haven't seen anybody yet articulate a vision of how they would restructure the federal government in light of this complaint. Do you get the sense that anyone in the field shares your concern? I would assume all of them do. If you don't, you shouldn't be running as a Republican. This is, this is to the heart and soul of who we are as a party. And I think most people are with us here. It's not that, you know, unions have a role in American society, but the question for the 21st century, this is not about sweatshops anymore. This is about trying to veto business decisions. This is about creating a business model that will drive jobs overseas. So I just think it's now time, as some governors have, to take on unions and say, you've gone too far. You know, you're driving up the cost of doing business at the state level, unending benefit uh, being given because politicians are afraid of unions. Now is the time to take that on at the federal level. You know, what our governors are doing at the state level, and some Democratic governors are trying to, to, to unburden state government from unsustainable commitments. So this is just a part of that narrative taken in a new direction.